I was born Bessie Gail Farber, 1956, Miami Beach. What's noteworthy about that? There weren't very many fertile couples living in Miami Beach in the 50s. And there certainly weren't very many women at age 38 and men at age 55 having their first child. Poppy had a few jobs. None of them paid. He was the family English teacher, he was the family driver, and I'm so proud to tell you that he was my room mother in fifth grade. My younger brother, Abelito, his real name is David. We found a yardstick and we went into the car. The car looked kind of like an upside down bathtub with a big awning in the front. And up and down with the yardstick until we made a nice hole in the floor, in the rusty floor. So Poppy would drive around Miami. We'd be in the back seat, tearing off pieces of the insulation and making little balls, dropping them down the hole in the car, turning around really quickly so we could see how we had changed the universe. system 
about his favorite activity, driving. For instance, women are the worst drivers. The best drivers can drive in reverse in a perfectly straight line for a really, really long time. When you're dropping someone off, make sure you get as close to the front door as possible, especially when it's raining. And absolutely never ever blow your horn in traffic. It scares people. Poppy and I were best friends until I hit puberty. So it's my 16th birthday, just a few days earlier. No party. I'm giving him the silent treatment on my way to Miami High School. He's dropping me off. I'm slamming the door. And then in Spanish class, I hear some sirens. And then a student from the office comes up with a note that says, your mother's friend, Annetta Blacker, will pick you up in the front of the school when school gets out. There was something very wrong with this. I get home, open the door, and Mommy's yelling, Poppy's dead! Poppy's dead! It took me a long time to find out what happened. Evidently, he was running some errands near the high school, and he ran a red light. This was the first accident he had ever had. And the paramedics came and went, he hit another car, and he was explaining to the policeman that what happened that moment. And then he fell on the street and had a heart attack. So they took him to Jackson Memorial Hospital, looking through his wallet to find identification, and they found a business card, mommy's business card. And it said, Sada Gail de Farber, social worker, Jackson Memorial Hospital. So they called Sada, mommy, and they said, we have a gentleman here, um, and your card is in his wallet, and he's at the morgue. Could you happen to come by and identify him? And that's how she found out. Mm -hmm.